I don't really know what comes next. I'm just doing my best, even though I'm so stressed out. Everything just feels like a test that I feel so depressed when I can't seem to get out. But something deep inside won't let me. I do try to stay positive, but I also stay real. And this is fucking real right now. Hi, welcome to me. This video is gonna be a bit of a fun karaoke extravaganza. Today was kind of crazy. I just wanted to let you guys know, um, for the integrity of the vlog, there's gonna be copyrighted material throughout it. Um, so that means I won't have a monetized vlog, which is okay with me. So, if you want to support me here on the YouTubes, you are welcome to join as a member if you aren't already. If you are, thank you so much. Being a member means you automatically get early access to all my vlogs, as well as exclusive extended vlog content. Um, there are different things that will be coming out in the future, and I do want to eventually get better custom emotes, things like that. I just have to get that figured out and figure out the right people to help me set all that up. I really hope you guys end up enjoying this vlog. Shameless self promo. Um, you know, it's never necessary to spend money on my channel, but if you ever want to um, gift memberships and chat uh, during lives or become a member or leave super chats, things like that, every little bit helps. And so I felt since this is going to be a non monetizable vlog, I'd shout myself out because this stuff makes me uncomfortable. So, anyway, thank you so much. You have a great rest of your day, and let's get into it. I just rolled up to an event. I'm going to a karaoke night, this time at the Sober Tea Bar. So, it's a different place, different people. I can already hear the music going. I don't know if y'all can. I'm really anxious because I haven't been vlogging as much. Like, besides cooking, I haven't really been vlogging anything. Um, I've honestly been spending a lot of time like resting in bed and like um, doing that because I've really been struggling physically with the fatigue stuff of stuff I've mentioned prior. I'm excited. I'm just trying to like not look depressed and tired because one of the big things I've been dealing with this past week has been like I think I've been in a bit of a depressive episode. Today is the day I read a comment from someone because today's or yesterday that was when the video was released about me fucking up the no eat out challenge. And someone was like, you're going to regain all your weight. Da -da 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 -da, and I'm like, <laughs> no, the fuck I'm not. It's truly scary to me how like how much our country how much our general society at large has such, a, has such a disordered and uneducated knowledge of how nutrition works because like so many people just don't want to accept the basics of like calories in versus calories out like as long as I'm not eating 5,000 fucking calories every day I'm not going to be gaining weight at this current size that I'm at so like <laughs> go fuck yourself you know what I'm saying I'm still cranky I'm anxious I need to go inside I already took my education my anxiety medication oh please don't come talk to me lady I don't know you please 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 you you're fine oh is she moving her car I'm just going to her car I don't know what's happening I'm gonna take another anxiety pill because I took this other the other one away earlier The event started like 20 minutes ago, but it's going on till 10. I'm just taking my sweet ass time to go inside because I want to be here and I want to have fun, but my brain is being a big old meanie. I might be able to fake it better if I keep the glasses on, but I don't know how I feel about that. So, okay, good, yay. I was worried about her talking to me because she did talk to me when she like pulled up. She parked really badly, but it's parked just enough that I should be able to get in and out, but I don't know. You know, something like I, I get it. Cause like sometimes I just, I can't make this choice. Like when I feel this way, when I'm depressed, honestly, if I hadn't spent the past several days just in my room, <laughs> like by myself, like I've been prioritizing rest a lot recently because when I start my new job, I'm not going to have that anymore. So, um, I've been cooking a lot, um, trying things, getting myself acclimated to things. So that way I have a lot of options in my wheelhouse when I enter working. 
Um, I've been doing cleaning projects and just like laying in bed, resting, chilling on the internet, you know, doing my do, doing a lot of journaling. I'm really proud of how consistent I've been with that. So there's some vendors outside. So I think I'm going to start because while the sun's out, I'm going to go check them out and, and vlog that real quick. Um, and then we'll go hang out in karaoke. Cool. How much are these? I'm not sure. You're not sure? Okay. Hi, you're really pretty. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. you look very familiar to me. How are really? You? I'm good, yeah. I may not have ever met you, but I feel like I did. You know, I feel that though I'm on a soul level. Yes. Um, so how much is this? Mom on 25. I want it so bad, but I'm in between jobs right now. Like I, I understand. Well, what, what crystal is this? That is so a, I uh, like you say you check for me. Aquamarine. 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 Um, yeah, if you mean, wanted to make an offer for it, I am not uh, offended by that. Okay. If you tell me what is within your budget, I will probably. I don't want to disrespect the amount no, of work that this no, took. So I, don't I mean, think so. I would. I, I, I. If you're willing to budget with me, I'll do twenty. That's perfect. Because I, I don't want to. I, I think no. it's like I think that's a fair compromise. No, no, no that's. Fine. And I, re I want it that badly, and then I'm like. You feel drawn to it. This is yeah. desert dancers crystals, crystal sanctuary. Okay. Uh -huh. I dig specimens. I dig crystals. I make handmade jewelry, and each piece is meant to go to its forever home or its part-time home until it's passed along to the next person. Yeah. So it's like these different stones serve the purpose during the time that they're supposed to and then they go so i want people to be paired with what is meant for them you know so 20 is fine yeah, yeah. yeah let's do that thank you Thank <laughs> you. 
in. Just when my friend Clint walked in. I know all the, and he would appreciate this song. I heard the lyric, I said, I gotta go see what's going on over there. Drain the whole sea, get something shiny, something needed for the main course.
It's a millennial it's like it's our don't stop believing. Hello.
I got a really cool story to tell you guys about these. Oh, what a crazy fucking night. I was really struggling to get out of the fucking house and like go and have fun and just like get out of my rut. And I pushed myself too. I took my meds, I did my do. I had so much fun with karaoke. Yeah, it's storming right now. It's 11 o'clock at night. I stayed an extra hour. I saw earlier. I, um, I'm gonna put this in my hair real quick just so I don't lose it. Um, let me find it real quick, actually. I saw this pendant and I, like, couldn't ignore it. Like, I couldn't ignore the energy. I was just like, I know I shouldn't be doing this. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not probably the most fiscally responsible purchase, but I did get paid today for my side job. So, thanks, guys. <laughs> but really, though, um... Look at that. Like, hello? 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 I bought that, like, earlier on, as you guys probably have seen. And uh, the girl who has that crystal vendor shop, um, her name is Christina, and she's got the most gorgeous curly hair. I'm probably going to include at least a clip of her saying, We were talking, and I find out that this guy, he's like, the, the guy that she's dating is like from South Carolina, Georgia region, and we're talking because I'm from Georgia. And he's talking about where he's doing certain things or whatever. And I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I, I used to go to Fort Mountain all the time. And he was like, no way. I have this, um, I think it's called pyrite, um, pyrite cubes. And I was like, what? So he, he pulls it out. And I'm talking to him. And I'm, I'm telling you a little bit about my story I've shared in the past. So, so Fort Mountain is where we spread my grandmother's ashes. And um, I have a very deep spiritual connection to Fort Mountain. And um, so he hands me this piece. As you can see, there's a cube of the pyrite, which is basically fool's gold, right? And this is in a slab of Fort Mountain. Oh, I'm gonna cry. This is a piece of Fort Mountain in my hand. And he hands it to me and we're holding it and he's like, you know, oh, you know, I, I guess we, I'm, I'm, I, I wanna, and like he, he was gonna charge like basically $22 per piece of this. 
and I was like, you know, I, and I was just like, I mean, I, I was seriously consider buying one. I was like, I don't have the money. I already made a purchase that I, I couldn't justify. And so then I kind of go into the full story and I go into parts of my trauma, um, like not in detail, but just like kind of explaining the significance of like the last time I was there and what happened. Cause I, I, I did go there specifically um, related to something really horrible that happened to me on January 1st of 2020. And where Fort Mountain is located is basically where the person involved in that is also located. So it was kind of a really big deal that I let myself go there. And um, I did have a, a, a male friend with me just because I wasn't, I didn't feel safe enough to go alone. But um, there's a certain overpass. If I remember to, I'll pull up a photo of it or some photos that I have from that trip of me and just Fort Mountain is like where I learned to drive. I learned how to drive by going up and down Fort Mountain. Fort Mountain is very important to me. It's where my grandmother resides. And he gave this to me. And then he said, I also want you to have this. This means a lot to me and I like, I'm crying over some rock right now. But this is amazing. I'm, I can't wait. To, I'm gonna put this in front of my painting of me and my grandy. I miss her. What a great day. I got some really cool free racks that mean a lot to me. I got to sing a lot of fun songs and meet new people that were really enjoyable to be around. And I got to hang out with Danielle again. What a beautiful day to be alive. So in conclusion, when you don't feel like doing something, do it anyway. You never know what's gonna happen. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it. A life worth living is a life with meaning. I'll do what I love till my heart stops.